Tesla will report earnings after the market close next Wednesday, January 29. And I'll be watching the price level that the market has priced in for Tesla stock in reaction to the earnings report. Also, I will be watching if the Tesla stock behaves similarly to the past parabolic price run-up. In this video, I will show you my analysis of Tesla stock price action to see what Tesla stock has been doing, how Tesla stock behaved in previous parabolic stock price run-up, what the stock market is anticipating Tesla stock will do next week when it reports its earnings. What I won't do in this video is to regurgitate the Tesla stock fundamental. Instead, I would direct you to go to the Yahoo Finance website. If you don't know the link, just Google it. And when you get to that page, just enter the uh, ticker symbol for Tesla stock, TSLA, and you will get to the summary page. And in this page, you will find the company fundamentals such as PE ratio, earning per share, the market capitalizations. And then if you go click on the analysis tab, then you will be able to see what the analysts estimate, projections, the uh, price target, and the recommendations. Before I begin, if you are interested in learning how to use Thinkorswim or set up your screen such as the one you are looking at right now, I have posted a tutorial video recently on how to set up Thinkorswim. I have put the link in the description below and also up here, so go check it out. And I need your help to smash the YouTube algorithm. So click the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of these videos. If you'd like to see my technical analysis on other stocks, post your requests, comments, questions, and suggestions for future video in the comment section below, and I will answer them as soon as possible. Let's begin by looking at the daily chart. Let me zoom in this window here. Then we can take a closer look at the price action. You can see on this daily price chart of Tesla stock, you see the price have gapped up since the Q3 2019 earning report, and it went parabolic ever since. And if we take a look at the uh, price action, recent price action, you see that it went up 133.42% or $339.82 in a span of three months. Looking at this weekly chart here, we can see that there has been two prior parabolic moves from Tesla. One in uh, 2013 and one in uh, 2017. Then, of course, this is the uh, recent one here. What I did is I put in the Fibonacci retracement tool and see what are the price behavior back in those uh, uh, parabolic moves. So let's zoom in to the first one back in 2013. As you can see, I have put in this uh, swing here, and we see that there was a retracement back to the uh, near the 50% before it pushes back out and uh, went to the 141 extension. Then it pulled back and tested the 100% uh, once again, and then it made another push up to the uh, 1618. Then looking at this second one back in 2017, once again, I basically used the uh, Fibonacci retracement and used this swing. And you can see that this time it did not pull back to the 50% as the previous one, but it did pull below the uh, 618. Then it pushes up and broke through and got close to the 141 extension. And you see this liquidation break, then uh, consolidate a little bit and then push through almost got to the 200% extension before it pulls back once again. And now we are entering the uh, present parabolic move. And the reason I did not use this as a uh, pullback is because it is basically just too shadow. If I use the Fibonacci extension too and use this pivot high, and even use this recent pivot low, you can see that the uh, pullback did not even get close to the 618. So we're not considered this as a, uh, as a uh, viable pullback. And that's the reason why I did not uh, put a Fibonacci retracement to on this, this swing here. Instead, I put the uh, swing from uh, last week's high at 594.50 to this uh, pivot low here. And you can see that if it uh, pulls back and uh, get into this 50% level, that would bring it to uh, 385.75, which is close to the 389 
price level of that range breakout. If we go back to look at this range breakout, you see this is the uh, 389.61 area. And if it's uh, pulled back, then basically it pulled back to the 50% level would be 385.75. Remember, we were talking about this range here, and we had a major move, and that almost got tagged because it went up to 595.50, and the major move is 601. Let's go back to the daily chart and take a closer look at the recent price action here. I want to take a look at this particular pullback and accentuate what I did as I put in a uh, Fibonacci retracement tool. Uh, on the swing here, and you can see the pullback actually came back down to the uh, 618. Then it pushes up and got above the uh, 127, but it did not get up to that 141 at uh, near the uh, 607. So it got to this high of 594.50. And we take a look at the hourly chart, the 16 minute chart, you can see that. The price actually start rolling down, and you can see that it is trying to get down to this trend line here. So it's important to see would it be able to hold this trend line. And this is what the market is pricing in as of Friday's close. It is pricing in 637.22 on the upside and 492.42 on the downside. And notice that this 637.22, the upside target, is in confluence with this 161. And the uh, 100. Uh, this right here, this 100 is the symmetry move that I have on this right here. And essentially, it's projecting this particular symmetry move here. And so that is uh, pretty uh, interesting that the uh, market is using the Fibonacci tool to project some potential upside target. And also look at the downside target. The downside target is 492. And again, that is the 618 pullback level from this particular swing here. So that is pretty interesting on how the market uses the Fibonacci tool. So in summary, next week I will be watching the price to see what it be able to hold this uh, trend line before uh, uh, earning and then get a push up. And if the earning came out positive, then I'd be looking for the possibility of hitting the 637 or beyond. But if uh, anything is uh, disappointing from the uh, earning report or the uh, guidance, then basically we probably will see the price retrace back down to this 492 and see if there's going to be a little bit of a bounce reaction there. Otherwise, if we go back to the uh, weekly and look at that parabolic move here, and we might see this uh, pullback to this 385. And come back down here, and that will be uh, essentially the uh, prior breakout level from this range. So, good luck. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and help me smash the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on the subscribe and the notification icon if you want to see more of these videos. Thank you for watching.